Hi, welcome back everyone. Long time no see. Hope you are doing well. Today is cigarettes. Once again, I have a special surprise. This one is called Double Happiness. Or it's called Shuang Xi. The Xi sign uh, is half of it, right? Xi means happiness. Shuang means double. Two times happiness. Double happiness. Yeah. That one, what is special about it, it's um, from Shanghai, that's the Shanghai version it says here. Uh, they have this from different provinces in China and uh, that's the Shanghai version. Um, it says um, nicotine tar whatever is like 8, 0.7 and 10. Here in Europe this would have counted in the past as a medium strength cigarette, which is around you know these 0.77 and so on. Uh, nowadays we don't have these uh, parameters printed onto the package anymore so we have to guess which one is the stronger one and so on um, 20 pieces and it's a flip top box um, yeah I have smoked a few already and I thought before I finish this pack I want to share it with you and that's how the Sigi looks like very very funky um, what kind of a design is this no idea and it says double happiness on it and uh, tobacco is uh, not too dark bready so it might be a good Virginia I need an ashtray wait a moment yeah here we go Winston ashtray John player special lighter <laughs> and <laughs> shuang -Xi from China yeah Got it from a neighbor who's Chinese. Yes, so when I was living in China, I smoked double happiness, but not this one. I show you because I still have a few boxes of the other one. I smoked the Guangzhou, Guangdong version from the south. So this one is from Shanghai, a different city, but it's the same brand and the different package design. I like this design. It's somehow it's funny because these are these lanterns, you know, to celebrate something. I don't know what. Usually if you get married in China and you are a guest, you are invited to the dinner, you get uh, these cigarettes. You have to smoke it because it brings good fortune to everyone involved. It's a medium strong Siggy. I would really say it's a medium. At the, the first few puffs are actually quite light. It has a pronounced Virginia flavor. It's really like grassy and um, and uh, like hay, right? And under this, you have a nice cinnamony taste. Hmm? It doesn't taste too dark. It doesn't have this dark chocolatey coffee undertone there. It's um, comparably bright like most of the Chinese cigarettes are I noticed that there are like basically two categories like great you know in, in the greater sense of the meaning uh, you have these um, Western style ciggies like for example if you have been to China and you maybe you have smoked those which are the Golden Bridge uh, Jin Chiao I think is the name then the the one from from the north um, forgot its name, uh, Hatamen, right? So the big back gate, whatever it means, you thought of something else, right? So they are the Sigis and um, Zhongnanhai, Zhongnanhai cigarettes from Beijing. They are these Western type Sigis, which um, I think are copies from the Japanese cigarettes. And the Japanese copied, of course, the Western Siggies and um, the interesting thing about Zhongnanhai two interesting things number one the package design the, it says Zhongnanhai in Chinese letters that was written by Mao Zedong personally of course and um, the other interesting thing is that there is something inside that reduces the chance of getting a lung cancer so there are some herbal elements in it and the Japanese tobacco industry those days back in the I think 1980s maybe 1990s even wanted to copy the Chinese cigarettes because of their herbal ingredients but couldn't find out what is inside maybe it wasn't herbs 
there is another by the way another uh sigi in uh in the south of china it's uh <sighs> hong jingye i think is the name golden leaf and this consists of 40 percent or 38 percent herbs so it's a herbal cigarette nah, not the best one i smoke by the way this one though is um is a very good ciggy uh, price wise it used to be in china i don't know how much it is now because this one is not so easily available you can get this at the go uh, at the what's the name um duty free shop or in hong kong um the price should be around 12 to 14 chinese yuan translates to around two bucks two euro whatever more or less so it's not it's not an expensive ciggy hmm. and it does not stink at all it's not it's not a bad ciggy so if you if you happen to get these offered somewhere in the chinese market this one or the red package version of this which i don't have here at hand but i can anyway i will make a video of it soon uh, absolutely a recommendation it's a nice really nice cigarette um, it's quite on the you know compared to the other european cigarettes it's on the stronger side because we don't have really strong cigarettes anymore in europe thanks to the european union that has decided for us what is good for us and what's not damn yeah so you see it burns quite quickly it's now six minutes in i have talked about other things and you, you see we already arrived here at the filter which is like a long filter has this extra thicker paper here so that's all a very good cigarette if you have to wait for a bus or something <laughs> i guess or if you wait for your wife who just went into the drugstore so yeah score 10 out of 10 really i really say this is a fantastic ziggy if i would have the chance to get this here in europe on a legal way with a you know with tax and so on i would be smoking these or the pure red package the pure red package is a soft pack um, and comes from another province but it's basically a very very similar cigarette very similar to tobacco um, a lot of uh, virginia and um, yeah thumbs up thank you for watching eight minutes tobacco see you next time see you soon goodbye and take care of yourself